Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Tuesday the 3rd of March. I can't believe it's the 3rd of March already. It just feels like yesterday was just Christmas. Time just flies. I do want to say a huge, oh this is nice, a huge thank, out, uh, thank you to you all. I was going to say a shout out and a thank you there um, for your support of my channel. You know how much I appreciate you all. I read your messages every day. I never marvel at how beautiful this whole experience is. The cards are a little bit jumpy. All right. Um, I'm currently running a Facebook competition, if you're interested, at the Aussie Goddess um, for a half an hour free reading. You just have to put the day and the month of your birthday up. Um, and I'll try drawing that. I'll let it go for a couple of weeks until I've done sort of covered all the mediums but got to be in it to win it okay somebody's working on something here with someone something brand new could be a business that people have um trying to get something off the ground here okay yeah we're talking of business king of wands coming out first now this can represent leo sag or aries the king of wands is a person who's mastered their own domain He's the he's a leader. He's um, you know someone who sort of gets things going, gets things started. Can be a manager, can be good communicator, very passionate about what he does, um, but also very determined, very courageous. So you've got someone around you at the moment that's like this, but it could also be you. Um, if this is your energy, then you've been really looking inside yourself so you've been doing some soul searching maybe you've been trying to think what you want to do going forward maybe you're taking the lead in your own life here but you're certainly leading with conviction here after perhaps yet moving away from something radio so for some of you you may be moving away from um, working for someone else and moving into your own business maybe trying to come up with a new and innovative idea here um the King of Wands is very good at that because he knows how to do things. He knows what he's doing. He's learned. He's learned the hard way. So definitely moving away from something and looking towards the future here. So building for the future. Somebody here is moving away from something and building towards the future after a very strong and long, intense look within themselves, trying to understand who they are and the direction they want to go in. But it looks like they're finally finding direction here. For some of you, you know this person um, from your past. For others of you, this is actually you. Um, you may be sort of, you may be going back to your childhood. Maybe it's something you wanted to do since you were a kid. Uh, maybe you wanted to start up some sort of business that is reflects what you liked as a child. But you're definitely moving forward here. And you're following your life path, which is really nice. So... Whether this is you or someone you're dealing with, someone here is following their life path. They, they're following their destiny, following their heart, understanding who they are and moving in a direction that's right for them, whether it's in business or whether it's in their personal life. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands coming out first. Now, the Nine of Wands is a card of boundaries. Um, I love this in particular. It's a really nice card because it shows the wolf coming through the boundary. So there's a really important here. If you've got um, someone around you that, you know, doesn't want you to succeed, doesn't want you to move forward, may not have your best interest at heart, make sure that you're understanding how to, um, you know, stop people from hurting or making you think that you're anything but able to do what you want to do. So boundaries are about... You know, putting the line down, drawing the line in the sand and saying, you know, back off, back off, stay away from me. I'm fine. I'll do what I need to do. It's also about just protecting your energy. Um, sometimes people don't want us to succeed. They don't want us to move forward um, and they will do what, what they can. So it may even be chipping away at your self-esteem to make to, to make you doubtful of what you're doing. So we have the Seven of Pentacles coming out here. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card for building for the future. Sorry, I'm a bit croaky this morning. There's nothing wrong with me. A bit hay fevery. Um, building for the future. But it's also about patience, about understanding um, how to, you know, wait. 
you know, you've planted the seeds, whatever this is, and you're, you're currently waiting for it to bear some fruit. And that waiting can sometimes be a bit tedious and a bit un annoying, but it's the way that you have to do it to make the, to wait for things to grow. Not everything, you know, grows really quickly. And that, you know, nine of wands cut, you, the same thing. It's sort of talking about, you know, being patient with things, making sure things don't overwhelm you or overtake you, you know, really stay on top of it. But don't expect everything to happen tomorrow. We do have the nine of Knight of Pentacles here. So the Knight of Pentacles is some sort of offer coming to you that could be financial. So you could be waiting for financial backing on a business um, and getting impatient, waiting for it to come through. Maybe people have said to you, it's, you know, you're not going to get it. It's not going to happen. Um, and you're still waiting patiently, knowing that it is going to happen and you're doing the right thing by waiting. But definitely somebody coming in to offer you something here. So it could be financial relief. It could be a partnership. But somebody's coming in here. But all very nice. We have the strength card coming here too. So I feel that you know in your own heart that this is the right thing to do. I think you're following your path, that hermit card. I think you're really understanding the direction you need to go in. I feel that you've tamed some part of you that keeps telling you you may not succeed at this. Um, and you're certainly working with this sort of side of you here that perhaps creeps up every now and again and says, you know, are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure? Because you know, last time you did this, you didn't do so well. That's the sort of energy there. But I feel like you're overcoming this. Your confidence, your you know, energy here shows me that you're not really worried if things don't always go the way they're meant to. You just front them up when they happen. And that jumped out at the beginning. So we do have a brand new start here. We have something that's very passionate, something you're very driven on, and something you want to get done here, for sure. Absolutely beautiful. So a brand new start for you. Don't doubt yourself. And look at you working here. So you're definitely working on your component here. You're planning, you're plotting, you're doing whatever you need to do to move forward here. You know you've got it right. You're showing other people what you've done. So you're proud of what you've done. You're ready to move forward on it. And you're sort of seizing the day here. So things may not have always gone well in the past. You may have to, had to learn from certain lessons here. And that's okay. You are starting to turn around and have a look what's behind you. Um, I do like the cat in the picture though. So the cat sort of, for me, always signifies the feminine energy which means this is using your intuition here. So even though things haven't looked so good in the past, you are still intuitively moving forward and the cat is sort of somehow getting you to turn around here. And it's that whole, you know, don't cry over spilt milk thing. Um, it's coming. Whatever this is you're working towards, it's coming. Okay, so there's some sort of decision here. So maybe for some of you, you're getting so doubtful here that what you want is coming, um, that you're starting to toss up whether you move forward, get over it, get past it, move into a new energy. Um, I always think with this card, the emotions in this card are really high, but he's not really concerned. He wants to make sure he makes the right decision. So for some of you, this is maybe choosing to give up, move in a different direction. Maybe you do have some sort of conflict around you. Maybe you fought really hard to get whatever this is off the ground. Maybe you've put in a lot of energy. You're about to win this. You know, even if it means at the expense of people who don't, don't believe in you, you're about to come to something here, something big, something huge. And look at this. So it is going to happen. The victory card is here. So whatever you're working towards here, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life where you're not listening to what other people are saying, because in your heart and in your intuition, you truly know that this is the right path for you. You truly know what is going to happen. And if other people don't um, invest in, the, in you the way that you're investing in yourself, then that's really difficult. But I do see here someone coming forward to make this offer, a brand new start. But there are times here where you're going backwards and forwards, especially with this Five of Swords and this sort of feeling that you're becoming impatient 
or that you're starting to listen to people around you about whether this is going to happen or not, you're still moving forward. You're still working on this. You're still putting in your energy. You still know in your heart that it's here, even though in the past perhaps you have doubt. But the cards here, the cards here that are positive, are extremely positive. Um, the Strength card, the Ace of Wands, the Victory card, those cards all say to me, and the Three of Pentacles, that you're moving forward in a big way. Um, the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles can talk about things moving a little bit slower than they should, and that's okay. But I see victory here. I see you're not giving up the fight. So something you're leading here, something you want to do, something you're sure about, because you have studied this you have studied yourself and you've studied this you know it's the right direction you feel it in your gut something that you're moving away from it to go towards this as well so as i said for some of you this could be about business it could be about a relationship it could be about moving away from another relationship and not trusting the energy but whatever it is here you're definitely walking down a new path um the six of cups comes out here with the justice cup so there's some sort of justice from the past here coming through so it's always possible that you could have done this before, tried it before, um, and it, it wasn't successful. Maybe that's why other people are trying to protect you by telling you it's not going to work. Um, but whatever it is here, you're sticking by your guns and you're really going for it, and I like that. Let's pull an oracle card on this. You know, I'd like to say that for some of you it's a relationship, but for the amount of cups I've got in this card, it really doesn't feel like a relationship. Maybe it's heading towards relationship. But it certainly doesn't feel like one yet. This feels like the energy of making changes in your life and trying to move in a different direction, but not really understanding that the universe has your back here. Okay. Oh. So I've got the card of getting to know each other. And it says, learn to meet another's need for love. So maybe for some of you, it is about love. Maybe it is about moving forward. Because uh, they speak the language of love is coming out here. So maybe for some of you, this is more of a relationship than what it is a love reading. Maybe you're not giving up on someone. Maybe you're moving towards someone, but you're doing it in a very strategic way. Um, it's funny, so are these cards too. This card talks about joy, and this one talks about cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realise that every person has experience and value. So there's, yeah, a real feeling of not giving up on what you want here. Whatever it is, you're moving towards it here and you're being patient, you're waiting, and other people are saying, no, it's not going to happen, and you're just going, yep, it is, I'm following it. I've got this ace of wands here, so I know whatever this is, it's going to go. It's going to start. It's going to create. It's going to bring in the person I want, whatever it is for you, but you're not giving up. Have a fantastic Tuesday.